On this episode, I'll be taking you guys to South Cameroon to discover the Pygmy's population, considered as one of the oldest people in Central Africa and more especially Cameroon. They can be found in the central, eastern and southern regions of Cameroon. These are people who are peculiar with authentic civilization who have hitherto resisted modernity. Yeah, humanity lives in perfect symbiosis with their natural environment where they derive almost all of their resources. A visit to Pygmy's people permits me to understand the strong interrelationship that exists between man and his environment, man and his biodiversity, and consequently understand the importance of environmental protection. The Pygmies are distinguished by their ancient rites, their traditions, their evocative songs, their magical initiatory dances, their traditional medicines, and their hunting methods, which is out of the ordinary. So right now, we are on our way to visit the Bagili Pygmies. The Pygmies in this region are known as the Bagili Pygmy, and they reside in a small settlement known as Kingi. Their main activities are farming and hunting. And besides this clan we are going to visit today, there also exist two other clans, but right deep into the forest of the Kribi region. So to, to go to the Pygmy, you have to pass through La Chou de la Lube. So right now, we are on our way to the main beach to get a uh, a canoe. So, yep. Yeah. And as usual, I'll be taking you guys along every step of the way. So we are here right now. Hello. Hello. Okay. Are you excited to visit the pygmies? Yeah, I'm super excited. I actually have been dreaming about it, and I can't believe it's the day. Okay. And so super, super, super excited. All right. So this is where you stop. This is where you stop to get the food. Then and these are going to be our boats and our drivers. The people guiding us. We are about to end back on the journey to meet the people of So apparently yesterday we made arrangements with these two guys to guide us to the Pygmies But on getting there today, we chose two other people and they felt like they felt stabbed in the back Ne dis pas ouais que tu le sais. Lui-même, on l'a même, il a dit qu'on devait garder lui depuis le matin. Tu viens, qu'est-ce qui t'arrive Nous sommes avec des clients de plusieurs, on est en programme. Qu'est-ce qui t'arrive C'est pas lui, c'est pas lui, c'est lui. Faut faire attention, hein. Faut faire attention, hein. During this tour, we are given the opportunity to uncover the hinterlands of Cameroon, more especially its landscape where the secondary forest alternates with the virgin forest. You will also be able to appreciate the legendary hospitality of the Cameroonian people, whereby in the course of your stay, children, youths as well as adults shall greet you with smiles, waving their hands and words of welcome. Away from the busy city lifestyle, which is characterized by noises of machines, polluted air, here you will be confronted with an environment in which only the songs of birds, 
the cries of chimpanzees, the languages of monkeys, and the forest animals will occupy your ears. The wonderful perfume that emanates from the forest will accompany you all through your work, a peculiar phenomenon you will never experience anywhere else. So my people, let's go visit the pygmies of Southern Cameroon. So right now we are almost halfway there and um, see you soon. I'm taking you guys along every experience, every step of the way. So yeah, this is how the <laughs> oh, oh. That's the sound you make to give them a sign that a visitor is coming. You don't just want to take them on a way. Say good morning. Ashia. 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 Okay. Good morning means Ashia. So this right here is what they use to move through the waters. This is their own canoe. So we're welcomed by these lovely children. They spoke in their languages and I don't know what that means. But now, if you ask me why they are fighting, my brother, I don't know. Because Cameroon is bilingual, this was done in English and French by the Ministry of Culture. So while walking through the forest, we were introduced to different herbs, medicinal herbs, which are used to treat uh, ailments such as malaria, typhoid, and uh, corona. This right here, you boil, put a cube of sugar, and drink as tea. Awa means thank you. So after being welcomed by the chief, we gave him the stuffs we brought for men and shared some biscuits with the kids. And yeah, for men, you can bring whiskey, you can bring um, machetes, you can bring cigarettes, you can bring anything that men love. As for the women, you can bring salt, cassava, gari, you know, anything that they can cook with. Clothes, bags, and all that, mat uh, mattress. If you, if you have so yeah we went to visit one of the huts they build their huts themselves so yeah is what the huts look like um so there you have that's where to sleep everything you see was given by people who visited the mattress the buckets the clothes oh that's a chicken inside there so that's where the sleep that's what it looks like everybody has their hut everybody has their hut we're going to look at the hut of the chief right now since he doesn't live with the people so this is the net we saw a moment ago they used in catching um, prawns so yeah we put grains from palm nuts and fish and we put in water in order to attract these prawns there are not many people in the camp right now because some of them have gone hunting and uh, farming. This is where the prawns enter. It has two entrances, the first entrance and the second entrance. This is where it enters to eat its trapped meal and it stays there. So now we go look at the tomb of the chief's father. So this is the chief's little sister. You can greet her, a Shienga. This is where they gather each night to chase away mosquitoes. They love cassava, eh? They love cassava too much. Mm -hmm. Even behind that way, you have houses. The women live that way with their husbands. Only the chief does not live with his wife because he has many wives. That is the tomb of the former chief, the big brother to the present chief, the one he succeeded. Okay, there is someone sleeping there. All the dresses you see here were brought by visitors. The visitors brought these dresses. 
From the mattress, the pots, the basins, Chinese people visit here and give these people gifts. This was constructed by the government, giving the people a better place to stay. But they love where they live and they don't want to change that. They even have tap water, but they don't drink it. They prefer the water from the streams. That's what they like. The tap water has been blocked by bushes. They prefer to drink from the river. This is where the camp ends. There's another house down there where the former chief used to stay. If you take this road, you will see it. So when the man is ripe, he finds a woman and they create a family and create their own hut where they start up their new life. Yeah, incest is allowed. That is why most of them have certain deficiencies and they don't live long. So we're going now yeah. for the dancing yeah. time. Dancing time, I don't know. Yeah. Let's yeah. go check it out. Yeah. So it's almost dancing time. So they are getting ready, they are getting warmed up. Yeah. I noticed this man was shy, but the harmony he was producing effortlessly, I just had to get there. It was amazing.